Hi there, it's Jeff. In this little video, I'm going to show you a little hack that I did to my table saw, particularly to the sliding fence system. Now, it's to the stops that come with it. Now, this particular um, fence that I have, it's a saw stop fence that came uh, with the sliding component. Uh, the end attachment here slides out but you can only get a certain amount of travel out of that which uh, takes that cut with your stop there Good around step. about one and a half meters so if you want to do repetitive cuts uh, that are longer than that that you want to do with your board or, or timber that you want consecutive cuts you might want to make several of the same size and they happen to be longer than this um, distance here that this travels with this stop um, it becomes a little issue you end up I've, over the years and I've just put up with marking it manually with a tape measure and, and docking it at the, at the blade there but I wanted to uh, come up with an idea or a process that if I wanted to do repetitive cuts they are a longer measurement than that stop that they will come accurately at the same cut so if you look over here I'll show you what I did. It is, is simply another stop that I've added to the end of this original one that actually pulls out. It also slides inside the original uh, fence at the bottom there. So, but once it comes to a certain point, it's obviously going to come out. So. If this is stopped at my stop there, this one will come out to probably safely somewhere around about there, which will give me an extra six to 700 millimeters further. Now this does need to be supported. When I do long uh, pieces like this, I usually have a, a, um, a support that runs through the middle. But it was just something simple to extra that I did just so I can get those repetitive cuts at a longer measurement if need be. One thing to note here, the original um, saw stop sliding fence that comes with this, it has this extension piece that does slide out and you can actually put the stop on the end of that and away you go. But you are governed by how far this extension does come out and to an extent that does start to sag but hence why I made this extra um, this extra stop that slides out of it just to get that a little bit further um, when you do have the extra long lengths of stock that you want to repetitively cut um, but you will need to support it but having said that yes like I said this originally does have that extension and it works well but you are governed by how far it can travel out. And if you want that extra little bit um, of length to um, do those cuts, repetitive cuts, then this thing will work perfectly for you. You can lock it into place uh, and it'll do the job. Okay, so let me show you what's actually involved in making this. It was really simple. I just used some offcuts. I had an offcut piece of um, oak timber that I, that I uh, had laying around. And I machined it so it fit inside um, those dimensions of that cavity that's in this uh, pro aluminium profile. So it was just a matter of uh, machining it to suit that. I did a round over on the edges. And underneath, if you can see that, I um, used my router and I did a rebate to take a bit of 3 mil aluminium flat bar uh, it's around about 20 millimeters wide and I just put some screws in it so that was that was basically for the um, threaded knobs that I have underneath so that they tighten on that and not just on plain on the timber it'll just last a bit longer and it just um, it holds a lot better because you don't want this guide moving you know when you put your stock up against this this stop here you don't want that to move you want that to be uh, held in tight and the aluminium will help that when the grub screw or your your, your star knobs can 
can bite onto that aluminium. So that's basically all that is, just a bit of uh, timber stock. Uh, it's machined to have a bit of flat bar underneath, screwed in. And I've just, um, the head here, the stop, is just a, two bits of plywood um, with a, a rebate to take this and just uh, glued and screwed together. And I've also put two uh, bolts through this piece as well. So if I do want to re remove that or replace it in the future, I can do so. I did think about doing an adjustment um, thread through here, putting a threaded um, insert and making a fine adjustment. So if you did want to creep your stock a little bit over, if it was a little bit under or something when you're going to cut, you could actually move it a little bit, but um, that is something that you could probably do later on or, or, or upgrade to this, but uh, I didn't do that yet. So um, you could also just put a, you know, if you, if you are measuring out and um, you need to move your, your board or your timber over towards the blade a little bit more, um, then you can just use a little bit of packing in between here just to creep it over a little bit but if you do have to go to the uh, extreme and go the other way well then you do have to back off those grub screws or adjustment bolt knobs to move it over but quick and simple little hack to get a little bit more um, length in your material when you want to do repetitive cuts um, apart from using the standard um, stoppers this was just to get that little bit extra Again, you will need to support it though because it does want to sag. So yeah, fair enough, you will need to put some sort of support in the middle. What I use for that is just, uh, I have um, a couple of saw horses in the, uh, in the workshop that I fold apart when I'm not using them. But when I do need to use it for this, I, I pull them out um, and I put, I've made a little board um, that's the same height as the table saw uh, cast iron top and it comes you know your material will come level when it's coming to cut so i just use that if i've got some long stock that i need to cut but yeah a nice little addition and upgrade to my sliding uh, fence that you might want to make for yourself or get some ideas from that just about wraps up this little video on that hopefully you enjoyed it or got something out of it thumbs up if you did share please subscribe to my channel so you can get up to date with the latest videos that I'm bringing out. And hopefully I'll see you in one of my next ones.